Hi there. Thanks a ton for ordering a brisket. We hope you enjoy. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to reheat it in your home kitchen. So first off, gonna show you guys how to reheat one of these briskets in the oven. Go ahead and preheat your oven to 225 to 250. Depends on how accurate your oven is. And grab a knife. Cut open brisket. Oh my gosh, it smells like Franklin barbecue. Grab you some butter. Grab you a sheet tray. Pretty much. Slide it right out of the bag. Okay. Let's see. It just got you a couple little pads of butter. Really, the butter, as it melts down while the brisket's reheating, it'll just kind of help the fat out a little bit. You don't have to, but you know, butter never really hurt anybody. All right. Good to go. So now I'll just pop it in the oven. All right, looking at about an hour and 15 minutes. I'm gonna probe right in the middle. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely perfect. Ooh. It's got a little bit of melted butter, but you know what? Let's just go ahead and pour that on there. Kind of recharge the fat a little bit. Let's go ahead and just pour that on there. Work it in just a little bit. If you notice, I'm only using my left hand here because I don't want to get a greasy hand before I grab a knife. Um, man, this feels really nice. Real quick, so just the, the basic anatomy of a brisket. This is what's called the flat, and then this is the point. So when you're down in Texas, and you hear somebody say, oh, I want the lean or I want the fatty. This is the fatty. So this is kind of like the ribeye section of the brisket. Um, and this is more like the sirloin section. So it's a little leaner. Uh, both have interesting textures. There's a band of fat that goes in between. So starting off, I'm gonna do the end cut. This is kind of my favorite piece right here. I hold my hand. And real, you wanna do long, light knife strokes if you have one of these knives right there. Um, you can always inspect your handiwork. Looking pretty good. Got some juice coming out. The fat looks nice. It's got a good texture. That's kind of what you're looking for is where the texture just barely pulls apart. Um, go ahead and set that aside right there just for later. So now if we look at the overhead of this, say I got a knife right here and then what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to slice going this way and I want to stop right about here. So make an imaginary line right about here. At that time we're going to take this fatty part off, the point if you will, cut it in half and slice from the inside out and put it all back together. So right here, think about kind of connect the dots. If you just go all the way across, you're gonna end up with a bunch of weird slices back up in here. So what you wanna do is they'll be a little bit thinner here and a little bit thicker going around here. You're just gonna gradually connect the dots and fan out like that. You know, the thickness of the slices are probably like a number two pencil. So it's got little pencil, big kindergarten pencil over here. So we'll start off. Oh, it's always nice when you can hear the bark on the knife. So right here I'm going to start to fan out a little bit. Notice that they're pretty thin slices. And the goal is, is that, you know, when somebody eats this stuff, each bite has the right amount of bark, the right amount of fat, the right amount of salt, the right amount of pepper. And notice this hand is just kind of holding it all together. This is a really, really tender piece of meat that was cooked for a long time, chilled, bagged, reheated, and the whole time being so careful to not do any damage, not overcook it in the oven. I think I'm gonna stop right there. So, right there we got just for fun. Let's just figure out what it looks like. Yep, pretty, pretty moist. Cooked well, fat's hanging out. Ooh, I like that, gonna put that back. So right here, there's a little piece of fat on the bottom side. If you wanna cut that out, go for it. Or you can leave it, it's up to you. Um, this is kind of going to be like the money shot of the of the point. So if your friends are hanging out in the in the kitchen, like, oh, what you got, what you got? Or if you just pulled this off of your own cooker and tried to pretend that you were up for 12 hours cooking this, um, that's kind of the shot you're looking for. So, man, this turned out really good. Um, that fat right there, that's the seam fat. So that's the bottom part of that flat. And then this is the top part of the point. This is where the burn ends and all that stuff would come from. 
if we chose to cut them off and sauce them and you know put them back in. Uh, but man, I couldn't couldn't be happier about this. So this is where also we're getting into big kindergarten pencil slices, about three eighths of an inch to a half inch, and you can just go straight through. And then once you get to here, start kind of fanning out. So I'll get a little bit thinner here and a little thicker on this back side. And this is where the left hand, or you know, in case you're left-handed, uh, comes in pretty handy. And you'll notice I'm starting to kind of twist the knife a little bit. So I want to get as many usable slices out of this as possible. So I kind of just fan that out like that. Uh, so right here on this other side, and this has kind of got a little bit of fat here. And if you're going to make beans or make chopped beef later, this is kind of where you want to get it from. Or you can go ahead and eat it, it's fine too. Um, I'm gonna start off at a little bit of more of an angle. I'm not gonna go do a full slice here, because if I do, I'm gonna run out of good parts. So, I'm gonna fan it out, use my left hand to kind of hold it together. Notice the angle on the knife. And this is gonna be the last slice of that part. So then, I'm just gonna set that aside. Um, essentially, that's it. So you'll see the back side of that point right there. Kind of fanned that out a little bit. Nice looking slices. This is, I mean, that that is what we're going for right there. That looks so good. I couldn't be happier with this. Uh, end cut, lean slices, points, and kind of some crunchy burn-in stuff right there. Uh, throw some pickles and onions in there, a little bit of white bread, and I'd say you've got yourself a meal. Uh, much appreciated. Hope you guys enjoy.